The artists in Manual Override all make a practice of critique of technology. The tools of our time for artists are the things that are invented in our time. Technology is the tools, the paintbrush, is the way that we see things for today. To me, it seems that working with the technology of your time, that you're dealing with the issues of your time, and the technology is like the paintbrushes used to be, mm. that, that they're ways to express the particular issues that didn't exist before. I mean, in my experience, artists are given the challenges of technological design that we are facing right now, which I think the show is hopefully framing. Artists are really at the forefront of revealing that design and that intent. Some people think that technology is toxic, but I don't. I think that technology is really the underpinning to understanding what our place is in society. My problem is when technology is so pervasive and invisible that it really destroys our identity and our rights to who we are, that it becomes toxic. This idea of technology as a tool that's neutral is, I think, a really pervasive and insidious one. I think the more that we embrace the fact that there is ideology behind technology, there's a person who made it, there's a person who created it and put their values in it, we can better tackle the problematics and the ethical issues that technology offers us today. And the toxicity, I think, can be healed. And I think that's really, that's something that your work really focuses on is how we can heal and reverse the systems that we're embedded within. Although maybe it's not so much healed but exposed. The Shadowstalker project only pointed out what's happening, but it doesn't pose a cure. But I think that the next stage is trying to figure out how to empower people to deal with that so that they're not victims. I think literacy around data and data privacy and design is a big first step for users of contemporary technology to have some sense of ownership of what they're putting out there. I think people have a very heightened sense of the fact that every time you make a post or post an image that that information is uploaded and is being used in ways that are outside of your control. So I think the understanding of that and the extent and range of that is a huge part of what needs to be taught. One thing, if people were to understand the loss of themselves and band together to change the direction, I think that you would see a massive change in both in societal values and individual belief in themselves, belief in their system. It's not an easy thing to do, to change a legal structure, to change a society, to make them aware, but it's not impossible. You know, for people to think about their expectations around technology period and to see what these artists are doing in the use of tech in their works helps them question like the assumptions that we have. And so that desire for speed and reactivity and this one-to-one -one kind of service relationship that we have with tech actually blurs our ability to be critical about it. So my hope is that people can have critical conversations and debate and you know take ownership over their understanding and their critique of the tech that they use. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.